Hi, I hope you're good. Today we're going to be standing up for our sequence, so if you need to get yourself warmed up, maybe take some shoulder rolls, some hip rolls, a little gentle forward fold or downward dog to get started. Go do that now and then let's get straight into it. Stand yourself at the head of your yoga mat and just check out the feet, make sure they're hip distance apart. Roll the shoulders back and away, lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels, bring the hands to prayer to chest and heart center. On your inhale, reach both hands up towards the sky. On your exhale, forward fold down. Inhale, push away from the shins and lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. We're gonna bend through the knees and step back with that left foot going into low lunge. I'm on my fingertips here, sink down into the hips and just make sure the feet are hip distance apart. If you want to close the eyes, take a nice deep breath. And slowly take that back knee down towards the floor, relax the toes, slowly rise up and come into crescent lunge, reaching both hands up towards the sky. And just hang out here for a moment. Try not to place any tension on the neck or on the shoulders. Keep pressing that front foot deep into the mat. Slowly come down and we're going to change legs from here. So step forwards, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, push away from the shins. Exhale into forward fold, bend through the knees, step back now with the right foot going into low lunge. Nice deep breaths. Hang out here for a moment. Set the shoulders away from the ears. Press into that back heel. And lower the back knee down towards the earth, rising up nice and slowly. And reaching both hands up towards the sky with that imaginary beach ball coming into crescent lunge. Again, assess if the shoulders and neck are carrying any tension. If you can work with that and loosen that off in this. And then slowly come down. Again, we're going to switch legs, so step forwards, forward fold, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale into forward fold down, bend through the knees, step back with the left foot, going into low lunge, but then we're going to turn this into a higher lunge, and this is where you want the feet hip distance to rise up, lifting up into a nice high crescent, shoulders moving away from the ears, sink down into the hips. Good. See if you can take that beach ball back slightly and lift the chin, chest and heart a little bit higher. And then from here, angle the body forwards now. So if this is too much, just position, position hands to hips. And you see chest and heart is just over the thighs. Or reach the hands forwards. Gaze point is just slightly ahead of that front foot, I would say. And then from here, slowly come down onto the fingertips. We're going to step forwards. We're going to change legs. Forward folding down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. Bend through the knees and step back with the right foot this time. So again, feet hip distance apart. Sink down into it. Come up into your crescent. Lift that chin, lift that chest. Broaden the upper back. Press the feet deep into the mat and then change position, hug the ribs in and angle the body forwards. Again, it could be hands to hips. Really try and energize that back leg as well. Again, nice deep breaths. You've got this. Bring the hands down and from here, step forwards into forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold down, bend through the knees. Press the hands into your mat and then step back here into downward facing dog. Lift up really high onto the balls of the feet and then take a nice walk on the spot and just open up the backs of the legs a bit more. Every time the thigh is coming closer and towards the chest, make sure you move your chest and heart closer to the thighs. Then walk the feet towards the back, turn it into plank pose. Remember to choose a variation that suits you and your body. So it could be that you're on your forearms or it could be that you're on your knees for this one in mermaid plank instead. But we're going to come into chaturanga next. So you want to lower your body down towards the floor, bending the elbows and an extra little push. Coming up into cobra upper facing dog. I just want you to focus on firming the legs and the buttocks slightly and rolling the shoulders back and away. And push the bum back, up into downward dog. And we're 
we're going to be taking the right leg up towards the sky to downward dog split. Really reach the toes, push away your yoga mat. Navel to spine. Bring heel towards backside into scorpion bend. And try and think about lifting up through your left shoulder and lowering slightly through your right so you're not seesawing through the shoulders. Then you're going to switch sides from here. I lower that right foot down. Take over with the left leg up towards the sky. And again, I'm going to find a little scorpion bend. It's so easy to kind of seesaw with this one. So you want to think about lifting up through the right shoulder and lowering down through the left. And then from here, walk the feet towards the back again, finding plank pose, lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. Core nice and strong. Don't let the core fail <laughs> here. So you want to make sure it's a whole full body exercise. Push in the toes. Chaturanga Dandasana down, bend those elbows. Extra little push. Coming up into Cobra. Push back into Child's Pose. I just want you to take the weight off of the wrist. So it could be that you're rolling around them right now or massaging the forearms even. Okay, so the next one that you're going to do is downward dog split and then you're going to step the foot forward into um, a low lunge. So come up into downward facing dog from all fours, lift the hips up, head down. Lift your right leg up towards the sky and then step that foot forward into low lunge. All right, so once you're here, it doesn't matter if you've got to shuffle that foot um, forwards a bit more, doesn't matter at all. Sink down through the hips, lower the back knee, come up into your crescent lunge and then things are going to change slightly where you bring the fingertips down and shift your weight back and you can see i flex through the front foot okay so you're going to do that again come up into crescent and then down into what's called ardha hadhavanasana half monkey pose okay so nice deep breath to getting that time for a little bit of time here just to stretch out the hamstrings and then let them acclimatize. Then from here, you're gonna lift up into downward dog split again. So palms of the hands shoulder width, lift the back knee off the floor, lift up into downward dog split, and then we're gonna switch legs. So we take the left leg up towards the sky, take that foot forward into low lunge. And don't worry if you're having to kind of maneuver the foot yourself, Happens to, happens to me, happens to everyone, okay? So lower the back knee down, lift up into crescent. It's a nice opening here for the front body, for the hip flexors, and then down onto the fingertips and shift the weight back. Can you see how I kind of walk the hands? Um, so they're underneath my shoulders, really, for that stacking so it's nice and safe. And then you're gonna go between the two postures. All in your own time, so you can move a little bit slower than me. A little bit quicker than me, it's up to you. I also tuck the toes underneath of the back foot. I find that can really help me out for my balance with this pose when I'm going into Ardha Hadamanasana. But when I'm in Crescent, I'm fine with the toes being pointed. So just see what works for you. Okay, so I'm up in Crescent next. Then I'm gonna go down, hands shoulder width apart, tuck the toes underneath, lift up into downward dog split. Good, find your downward facing dog. Roll the shoulders away, push away your mat. Neck is nice and long. Hug the ribs in slightly in case you're worried that you're kind of over, overly kind of being hyper mobile with the back there. And then again, walk the toes towards the back going into plank. Pushing the toes. If you're in a full plank, Chaturanga Dandasana down. Extra little push coming up into Cobra. Downward facing dog. And then from here, you can walk the feet forward towards the hands or you can bring your big toes to come together, roll the shoulders away from the ears, gaze point is forward, bend the knees and take a little hop forwards, maybe half the way or all the way toward the head of your yoga mat. And then from here, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale into forward fold, bend through the knees, drop the arms, we're going to roll up to standing. And roll your shoulders back, reach your arms up. Bring the heads to come down to prayer. Okay, so you definitely want to make sure your feet hip distance apart for this next one. Okay, lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels. Core means it's picked into you or kind of 
locked into first gear just by doing that, navel to spine. Bring the hands to come to prayer. Inhale, reach your hands up. On your exhale, forward fold down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. Bend through the knees, step back with that left foot. Stay on the board of the back foot and lift it up into crescent or hands to hips. Lift the hips up slightly, pivot the back heel down and warrior two. So find that strength within. Sink down into the hips, roll the inner thighs outwards. Expand. Good, see if you can go down just a little bit deeper into that lunge. The thighs, <laughs> that's what I can feel right now. <laughs> okay, and then from here, couple the hands down. Pivot to you on the board of the back foot and step forwards into forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold down. Bend through the knees and step back with that right foot. Lift up, crescent lunge. Sink down into it. Push from the ball of that back foot, see how it feels. Lift the hips up, pivot the back heel down and land in that warrior two. So arms in a T shape, roll the shoulders back. Hug the ribs in and lengthen your tailbone down. See if you can lower down just a little bit further and press into the knife edge of the back foot. Cartwheel the hands down. And this time you're gonna step back into plank. Push away the floor. See if you can shift just a little bit of weight over towards your right hand side and free up the left hand. You might need to do this modified on the knees instead and turn it into loving plank. Take the left hand down, right hand off the ground. And then we're gonna see if we can flip all the way over. I flip so I'm on the knife edge of that right foot. You can have the left foot in front or on top. Lift the hips up, lift up through the lats and reach up into either side plank or keep reaching the ribs up and the left arm overhead. And then slowly come down, you're gonna change sides from here, back into plank of course, flip the feet over, down with the left hand, up with the right, lift the hips up. And if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, lift the ribs, lift the hips, and reach the right arm overhead. Then from here, slowly come down. Okay, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra rising. Downward facing dog. Again, either walk the feet towards the hands or big toes come together, bend through the knees, gaze in between the palms of the hands, and see if we can take a little jump forwards towards the head of our yoga mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale into forward fold. Bend through the knees, drop the arms, and roll up the spine, coming up to standing. Roll the shoulders back, reach the hands up, hands to prayer. So you're gonna come into a balancing pose, it's called dancer's pose. And if you want to, you can use a wall or a piece of furniture, something sturdy, it's pretty good. If so, I would have that um, support in front of you, not to the side, personally. So from your mountain pose, you're gonna shift a little bit of weight over towards your right hand side, bring your left heel towards the back side. And it'll be the left hand that holds on to the left leg or ankle. All right, so you can shuffle your way down. From here, reach your right hand up towards the sky. And what I want you to do is feel like you're trying to hug everything in towards your center line. So everything is nice and strong, nice and connected, navel to spine. You're bringing the heel quite close in towards your body. Your knees are relatively close together at this point. And then change that. So use that strength and then kind of expand and reach. So before you begin, it comes from a place of strength rather than just trying to finish the pose. So we bring heel away from backside, toes lift up towards the ceiling, and it, this could be it right now. If you want to, bend into the standing leg. All right, see how that helps, if that helps. And then see if you want to reach the back leg up a little bit higher, reach, if you're not using anything, obviously, um, then you'll be reaching either right hand forward or right hand up unless you're holding on to a support there and just see how that feels. It's 
slowly come up. So it's a lot, I have to say, on the plantar fascia sometimes. So you can always stretch out the sole of the foot, don't forget that. And you can always use a ball or um, like one of those massage balls or a um, cricket ball even to massage the foot if it ever gets tight after something like that. So go on to the other side, of course, it would be wrong just to do one side. So we start off in mountain pose, shift just a little bit of weight over towards that left hand side, bring the right heel towards the back side, holding on to the back leg, right hand to right leg I should say, reach up. So make that connection there with that centre line, that place of strength, and then slowly explore your pose. Bring the heel away from back side, the toes to lift up. And if you wobble, that's okay. If you fall out, that's okay. Take your time. Find a little speck that you can just focus on without overly glaring. <laughs> Try not to take it so seriously. And then from here, slowly come back. Roll the shoulders back. How did that feel? Let me know. If you need any like extra tips or any more help when it comes around to dancer's pose or any of the stuff that we did today, just check me a message and I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that flow. Maybe you're going to be hopping on to another one, maybe to cool down. But I really hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that one. It gave me such a nice boost. I'm really glad I shared it with you. Let me know how you got on in the comments and I'll see you next time on the yoga mat. Bye.